So these are the Dark Elves that did well. Um, this is my team. As you can see, whereas my High Elves were black, my Dark Elves are white. Uh, I'm a non-conformist by heart. <clears throat> so this is my squad. It's currently 13 players. If I should <laughs> at some point get money again, I might even take it to 14 because there's just so much claw bomb spam. Uh, getting a big squad is nice. You can foul. You can put rookies on the line. Uh, you can protect your good players. So what have we got? Rookie Blitzer, a Mighty Blow Tackle Jump Up Guy, a Strength 4 Blood Sidestep Diving Tackle Guy, he's nice. A blood Sidestep, Agility 5 Movement 8 Witch, this is really the star of the team. Um, so Agility 5 Leap means she can go uh, just about anywhere on a 2+. Plus. Uh, and with Frenzy she can then surf uh, with discretion. Uh, unfortunately she has Movement 8 rather than Juggernaut simply because of um, <coughs> the way Cyanide broke that skill. If this were uh, truly Blood Bowl, I would have definitely given her Juggernaut and be super happy with that. Given how Cyanide broke it, I went with Movement instead. Uh, Bludge Sidestep Witch, also a nice surfer of course. Um, Bludge Surehands uh, Leader Runner, pretty generic, getting there though. Uh, guard, Wrestle Dodge, Fend, uh, Wrestle Dodge, Fend, Sidestep, Wrestle Guard, so pretty generic lineman. Yep, specializing players is definitely also a good reason uh, to do that. So on defense I normally don't even field my runner even though he's got leader, um, which is nice. So let's see if we can find these guys a game. The thing that is wrong with Juggernaut, Starvin Darwin, is that uh, it's not optional, which means you blitz someone, you roll both down, it becomes a push. That is perfect for crowd surfs, um, because it, you need pushes there. However, um, take this witch. Um, she's got wrestle and agility 5 leap. So she will blitz into a cage, hit the ball carrier with a one die, roll both down. I want to use wrestle. Instead, what I, what I wind up with Thank you, uh, big ol' shit. Appreciate it. Oh, well, uh, you've seen me win with Dark Elves, apparently. Oh, this sucks. Good, though. Money. Money. Yes. Money. Yay, more money. Let's see, how much do I win? Huh? No money? What happened there? You don't get winnings if he concedes turn zero? Cool, see you around. No money! Damn it! Screw you, Cyanide! Peter says no. Oh, here we go. But I didn't get to reroll it though. But this is cool. <laughs> Show me the money! So I could buy a player, I guess. I'm not really interested in anything else. So my stadium is already the level 4 one. And crucially, it gives me a plus 1 on injury rolls. No, they had that in Blood Bowl 1, but they don't have it in Blood Bowl 2, unfortunately. Welcome, uh, Arbrink. Mm. So yes, I'm just going to buy number 14. Uh, let me check the username for my recent don't layer, Biggles the Shit. The, let's see, how many eyes are there in that? Two eyes. The shit. Here we go. So now I have 50k, but I have 14 players. That's nice. Uh, I, as far as I'm aware, sponsors don't do anything. Uh, they're just cosmetic. Right. 
So obviously I didn't show you what my Dark Elves really do. So let's see if we can do it better than that. Also, let's see whether they gained any... Yes, they did actually gain a spot with that concession. So they're now still not the number one Dark Elves, but they're catching up. I think feeding money so, uh, somewhere into the sponsor thing would be nice. <clears throat> Lizards. Reasonable team value. They get a wizard, I guess. Yeah, this looks like it could be fun. I miss my dirty player. At some point I had 14 player squad with two dirty player elves. Uh, but then one of them skilled. So I fired him because dirty player doesn't go well with... Uh, Dirty player doesn't go very well with uh, uh, more skills. He's choosing an apo. That's good news. That's very, very good news. Uh, if he had a wizard, I would be in trouble. If he has an apo, that just means he's scared. And a skink. Okay. More skinks. More star player points. I'm not spending my last 50k on this. Uh, no, I was uh, number one for quite a while. Uh, I am now uh, number seven, apparently. And um, you click your own player and you select Blitz. Yeah, so I'm now number seven. I wasn't the uh, number one Dark Elf. I have been the number one Dark Elf for weeks, but I just dropped to uh, the number two Dark Elf today after my bloody game uh, bugged out and I couldn't click anything and I had to drop the match. That really sucked. Well, uh, for the record, I haven't done anything of that, and I can still get on the first page, so... Welcome, uh, Toygon Sindler. Okay, that's good advice, Sir Hasington. Too bad you weren't around then. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this work. Right, so you've seen my team. Here's the toss. Gobble ref here. I probably get to kick. Shift tab, not alt tab then. What, me? Just do it! Do it. Look at the team. Skink, Agility 4, uh, Diving Tackle, no sidestep. Uh, guard, Guard minus Movement, Guard, Guard Dodge, Mighty Blow, uh, Block Diving Tackle. This guy also had Block, right? Yeah. So we've got Blodge Skinks, but no sidestep. Agility 5 Skink! Oh, that's nice. I know what that's like. I have one. Uh, let's see, rookie guard on the line. That's not. Uh, yeah, this is always a dilemma. I have such good lineups that I don't want to have them on the line. Uh, let's see, this guy has guard. He can go here. Actually, I haven't seen any tackles, so let's put the guard in the middle. I've got two guard down here. Rookie, rookie runner. That's fine. Uh, oh, no, he's good. But he's got Blodge sidestep fence, so he's good there. He also doesn't have guard, so he's not too hard to be missing. Uh, so yeah, this is looking like a solid setup, really. Yeah, Agility 5 Skink means he can uh, pass on a 2+. Normally, uh, you only get a 3+, even with Agility 4, because of... Uh, the uh, skink minus one or the stunty minus one to passing but really have a fun game mr. opponent uh, picking up in tackle zones is a big deal and yes diving tackle perhaps I'll tell also matter but picking up in ta tackle zones is really the reason I did take it there are very good coaches out there on fumble for instance who would say it's not worth it don't take it Uh, 
it can really help with one turning, for instance. I think you went to agility 5 there, uh, Jimmy. Oh, he starts off with a Croxigore. That's good news. Well, the thing is, you can already do that uh, with Agility 4 because of Stunty. So that's the reason people don't care for Agility 5 on, uh, on Stunties. Welcome, Nafman. So I'm very glad that uh, before this stream I actually spent some time uh, adding uh, custom icons to my uh, <laughs> Twitch alerts. I think I like this square, thank you. Yes, much better. Um, I didn't expect to be using it so much right now, uh, so I'm happy about that. Ooh, skink pickup fail. Don't mind if I do do that again, please. Oh. God fucking damn it! Uh, Stunty does uh, two things, one of them good, one of them bad. The good thing it does is it lets you ignore any tackle zones you dodge into. So you still have to roll a dodge for going out of a tackle zone, but it doesn't matter how many tackle zones you go into, whereas normally the more tackle zones you dodge into, the more uh, the tougher your dodge will be to make. Right. Uh, in that case, here looks nice. That way I don't have to dodge, unless he walks after me with this. <clears throat> this guy is friend, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. You're right, Squirrel Dude. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is, um, if, you, if your opponent rolls a 7 uh, after modifications on uh, injury, it's a KO. And if he rolls 9, it's a badly hurt. And that really sucks. So apparently he wants to score early. Uh, and I suspect he also doesn't realize just what great skills Frenzy is. So let's just make this a 3 die because we can afford to. Uh, yeah, you're good. So these guys both have sidestep, so that's not a big deal. Yep, no sidestep, not a clue. This is going to be so much fun. So now that I've got the most important stuff down, let's see about defending and keeping my most important player safe, which means she goes here. Uh, he can, he's got sidestep, so he's better off here. I'll put this guy there for now. Guys going there. Yeah, he doesn't have sidestep on anyone really. Uh, he, To be fair, he rolled block on a couple of skinks, which is nice, of course. So, dodging this guy out of Prehensile Tail... Oh, no Prehensile Tail. Hmm, suppose I should just dodge then. Welcome to the community, uh, Retro Vertigo. So, a pretty solid start. Let's see where it takes us from here. See you, Monkey Slade. Hope to see you again on the stream.
Yeah, so I can understand why you would give block to a skink and agility 4 as well, but I would never give diving tackle before they have sidestep. Because, you know, if someone... If, if you don't have sidestep, they don't have to dodge you. What's supposed to be a surfboard? Uh, no tail because he's bonehead. If you've got, uh, if you're suffering from bonehead on this turn, then you don't have a tackle zone. And if you don't have a tackle zone, then you, uh, your prehensile tail doesn't work. So if he had had his tackle zone, I would not have dodged out there. I wouldn't have even stood up. So this is the one player I have who is not bothered by prehensile tail at all because she's got agility 5, meaning she can dodge here on 2+, plus. and she's even got leap if that's needed. Ah, I see the uh, surfboard. Yeah, that makes sense. Is it really? Lose armor and gain armor. Yeah, that is terrible. It means he's paying... Um, He's paying 30k for a guy who's the same as he would be as a rookie. So this looks chain pushable, very much so. Well, let's see. Hmm. If the witch leaps there, no. No, maybe not so chain pushable because he left the square empty. I'm going to just start make some blocks, see where it takes me. Mm, go the Jimmy way. Mindless clicking. Yes, a fireball here would be very nice. Agreed. So since he doesn't have any do any tackle, I can really afford to play a very connected playstyle. Uh, man mark uh, let's see, where's my diving tackle? That would be here. I can get my strength 4 diving tackle on two of his skinks. So, again, don't mind if I do. Agility 5 guy has got movement 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He can score, so that's a problem, which means I'm going to push him one square back uh, with my blitz action. Let's see, where's my garters at? He's got guard with me, yeah. So... I can chain push... here. There. No. No, that didn't work. Um, so it needs to be him, but I think I've already placed my other guard, haven't I? Yes. So that's a bit of a pity. It'll be a one die because I've already used my strength four and my other guard. We'll just stand up. I'm not dodging out of tail with that. If this one die fails, I might be in trouble, so let's move these guys forward first. Timer, oh thank you, yes, good point. I think and talk far too much and should really play more. This is fine, two plus. Let's chain push him out a bit. There we go. There. Nice. Oh. And another two guy here. Just on the buzzer. How? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I should have followed that. Oh well. Still not a bad turn. I also got his ball carrier on the diving tackle guy, which is nice. No! Tis but a scratch. I think they did the uh, the voice acting and the uh, commentary stuff from Jim and Bob really nice. So because both of these Sorai are in the way, 
Blitzing this guy off will also be next to impossible actually. But the ball carry has agility 5, so dodging my diving tackle is still only a 3+. plus. I actually like the fast turn timer. I just wish the, wish the uh, system would facilitate it. Welcome, Shen. Sure, let's get more blocks in. I can always dodge out if I want. Playing against a guy who's 1800 team value and no tackle is... Uh, Yeah, Bludgeguard Saurus is good, but a team with no tackle is kind of shitty. At this team value, you really need tackle. Hi, Drace. Welcome to the community. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. You're much better off with that dodge. No doubt about it. Oh, he's got blocked. Too bad. So now, moment of truth! 3 plus dodge with the ball. If you make it, he does. <laughs> 6. Saurus could have dodged that. So the Croxigore has plus armor and minus armor. <laughs> Does this guy have a block? Ooh, I don't even need diving tackle! Well, block is really good on the Crocs brother. Uh, no guard here. Hmm. Where's your guard at? Huh. Let's see, I could easily one die this guy. This is nice. Go there, follow that up. Uh, he's got skinks here. It's not that easy to get a good hit at anyone, really. I really want to get my diving tackle. So this guy does not have guard. So going here is not bad. Uh, this guy does. But I've got... Yeah, that works. That works quite well. You go here, then you go there, now I can blitz leap there, blitz. There we go. Two dice on the ball with wrestle. I'm gonna reroll this because I don't know how much guard they have, I should have checked. Uh, but I know the Crocs has guard. No, yes, reroll. Wrestle is good. We have liftoff. Oh, fuck off, Mr. Crocs. Really? Really? So, this guy doesn't have guard. Do I want to half die the Crocs Gore who has block? Not really. But at least I've secured the ball for another turn. Good enough for me. Yeah, the, I love the word Bloxigor as well. Well, good luck with that, I'd say. Got movement 5 too. No break tackle. I don't have strip ball, no.
But I do have a couple of guards, uh, strength 4, so shouldn't be too bad. See you, Sir Hasington. Of course, yes. Well, my am crucial. Well, I can miss him. He's got plenty more. Uh, does he have guard? He does. So this is going to be pretty tricky. This means any angle will suck. This guy will be crucial. So will he, because he can dodge in here and he can dodge in there. And I've got two guard on the crocs. Uh, he got a pow. I'm just gonna go in here anyway. Then at least I don't have to do silly stuff to be relevant next time. Thank you, Mr. Lolath. That's nice. Let's see, where am I better off? Here, I think. He probably wants to follow that up. Oh, wait, this is a skink doing it. Oh. Uh, skink has... Oh, that's actually not that good. No. Hmm. Three. That's a one guy following up into a half guy. Don't really like that because he got blodge. Chances are I am following that up. Makes this guy getting in his, his assistant pretty hard. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, not that hard. So I'll go here. This guy's got a one die to make there. Or a uh, uh, go for it, I mean. There we go. So this is now a one die. And if I make this dodge, it's a two die. And if I fail that, I can still... I do not fail that. That's nice. Uh, sure, follow that up. Why not? Still have my blitz action, so I stuff... Ah, damn. Right, so that's a bit of a pity. Uh, one guard. Fine. Let's stand him... Actually, this is a really nice surf. He, he doesn't have sidestep, does he? No, of course he doesn't. No one is too nice. So I can actually put him in a quite a lot better spot by going like this, and like that, and like that. There we go. Sure, I'll follow that. That is way better. Because now I can just get rid of this skin here, the Agility 5, with 3 dice. Ah, oh, that's a pity. He doesn't have block, does he? He does not have block. There we go. Ah, oh, still alive. I can't foul him. That's a shame. Can I do something about that? Maybe. Let's find out. Agility 4 guy. Let's not push the crocs into the ball, shall we? Uh, falling up into a 1 guy isn't a lot of fun. Really can't be helped. Uh, push this guy out because I need him. This one die is good, it is not. Sure, I'll reroll that. I'm swimming in the things. Well, not really. There we go. So now I can foul the. Oh crap, wrong skin. Never mind. Uh, one die falling up into. What's that? Just not going to bother there. This guy's got diving tackle, right? Yes, so the witch is actually bothered by that. Uh, because she's going into tackle zone, she can leap, but... 
No reroll. She's just gonna stay there. I can live with this. Well, it may be a clusterfuck, but I've got the ball, and I didn't at the start of this drive. And uh, I've lost only a rookie lineman who I can really do without. So he's decided to use his blitz on someone who doesn't have the ball and who does have blodge. Maybe he got confused by the whole... Because he could have blitzed the ball, right? If he blocked him and happened to get him down, you know, pows happen, he could have had a shot at the ball. Gotta hurt. <laughs> Thank you. You saved me a three plus dodge. This is much better. This is a garter, yes. So I could actually chain push the skink onto my ball carrier. Then my ball carrier is free and providing an assist. And my skink, uh, the skink can uh, get blocked by my mighty blow tackle guy. This is the source blocking, so let's keep marking the skink for now. So he's built a pretty decent team, he's had some very nice rolls. Oh, mighty blow on my diving tackle guy, that's not nice. Uh, let's get him out of there, for now. Yes, uh, Skaven do this a lot. Skaven will uh, frequently just implode, basically. No foul, okay, interesting. Uh, this guy will just stand up. He's doing his job just by being there. Um, so if I blitz here, he's got one guard, two guards. Oh, that's a pity. But that's a one die. Not ideal. Can I fix that? Also not really. Hmm. Oh, this guy can... No, no, no. no. Um, ideally, I do all of this without having to dodge Prince or Tail, right? I, I do like this plan, though. Even if it is a one die. It is, right? Yes, so he's got plus two and I've got plus one. Yes, let's go with that. Uh, that'll do. I guess. I will use Wrestle, because I don't want to turn over, obviously. Uh, so... 3, 4... 5... 6, I guess. Oh crap! I missed Diving Tackle! Oh no! Oh no! Fool Sage! That's not the first time you've done that! Uh, I really, really, really miss the ability to mark players. Oh damn it! Oh damn it! Yeah, I'm so pro at Blood Bowl! Ugh. I'm pretty angry at myself right now. I mean, chances are I'm still winning this game, that's okay. But... Uh, ooh, that's gotta hurt. Taking them both down. Where does the ball go? Croxigore catch again? Agility 5 skin catch. Well, 
given that he has already taken his turn, that could have been worse. Yes, you can't mark players. So on Fumble, you just hit, do shift click and then you can write what they have. And here, that's not an option. So unfortunately, my Mighty Blow Tackle is on Prehensile Tail. My other Tackler is here. Ball Carrier does not have Block. Super Witch is still there. Super Witch might be able to blitz the ball carrier onto my Mighty Blow. Who's blocking? Which source is this? Uh, I'm just going to go here and be marking everyone right now. If he follows, he can get me off the screen, but he does not. Uh, no, one third of injuries is actually permanent, um, because one out of six is miss next game, and that doesn't hurt you in the long run. I'm just going to step out, because here I can't really dodge and decide where I want to go, and here I can. Thanks for the uh, screenshot, Squirrel. Right, so this guy has the ball. Guarder, agility 4, no guard. Not easy, that's for sure. Let's start with standing you up and getting you. Oh, nope, that's pretty. Um, so I really wanted to blitz with the Super Witch from there. This guy's just going to stand up again. Because then I could chain push into this guy who also has tackle. Now I'm going to have to settle for something far less ideal. This is now still a half die because guard can make it a one die, but I can't actually get in there from here, so I should have been there really. Another silly mistake because now it's an extra go. Oh, it still doesn't actually help. Uh, block is not a problem per se, but I'm not getting where I need to be right now. Uh, half dying the crocs is no good. Can I kill any skink here? Mm. Well, at least I didn't get prehensile tailed there. So I'm guessing he can still score now. And with Agility 5, his odds are still really, really good. Hey, Wetter, how did your FC game go? Double gutters aren't really all the, as great as they sound. Ooh, that's nice. Croxigore wrestled. Um, but uh, uh, stat gutters are fantastic. It doesn't really matter whether they roll strength, agility, or movement. Nice, congratulations! Uh, but stat ups on gutters are splendid. Um, movement 10 is of course great for one turning and anything to, to do without speeding your opponent. Are you handing off to this king? Oh, well, that's a 3+. plus. Uh, he's got rerolls, but he also needs ghosts, so that's not bad. Ooh, yes, do that again. Do that again, please. Me, and then just hurt me. 
Because then I have got my diving tackle where I need it. Oh yes, that's fine too. Take the push, come on, take the push. Aww. Well, you've got another block. You can do that. You can do that. Sure. Ah. I could have been so nice. Uh, so I'm not a really big fan of horns for, uh, well, agility 5's kink is fine. They can pass on a 2+. plus. Um, I'm not a real big fan of horns and gutters because uh, Dauntless does almost as well and is a normal skill for them. If you've got a plus strength gutter though, horns becomes fantastic. Welcome uh, Dave X. Or Dave, actually. Horns is plus one on this. Ooh, the pass already fails. The pass succeeds and the catch succeeds as well. Congratulations. Ah, oh, man. Well, we still got a full squad. Uh, I've still got two turns, so that's great. Uh, I can score pretty well. Uh, what's that you say? Surf your agility five. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, don't mind if I do. Actually, uh, let's set up for a uh, quick snap because then I can surf two guys. Both my witches have sidesteps, so it doesn't really matter uh, if they end up their turn on the side. Uh, obviously, this is the blitz that's really important, and then she can just leap over if this fails. Uh, I'll need my sidestepper here. Uh, actually, I don't. No, because... No. Um, I can just cancel this assist and do it with two dice there. Block the line of scrimmage. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Gotta hurry up though. Let's see, where's my thrower at? My runner. Uh, let's see. Guard, guard. I better not bother with that actually. So, this diving tackle is going to mark some guys over here. Uh, get one guard here. Actually, this guy's nice. Um, don't I have a sidestep guy? Oh, he doesn't have guard this. Um, Yeah, this looks alright. So, a nice kick here would really, really help. High kick also helps. Okay, that's really, really not where I wanted it to be. You know what? I'm just gonna catch it with my witch, actually. Because she can leap. I've still got two rerolls. She can leap and pass somewhere over there, and then I still can go with my original plan. So, to cancel this assist, I want to be here. Uh, this guy can make two dice on this Saurus and put his strength for sidestep diving tackle on all of these guys. Hopefully keeping them from bothering me too much. Same logic here with this uh, dodge, sidestep, wrestle, fen guy. Just keep them busy. So, oh, did I put him in the wrong square? I put him in the wrong square again! Oh, I'm such a fool! Oh, why did I do that? Why? Oh, and I gave the ball to this witch. Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not recovering from that. Ah. <sighs>
It was at this moment that Nathan knew he fucked up. Right, uh, plan C. Let's this guy walk with the witch, hope not to die. Fuck. Right. Fucking idiot. Yeah, so I've had excuses for a lot of the fuck-ups I made. Uh, not this one though, this one was all me. She's got sidestep so she can just go here. Oh. Since when did thinking become optional, Sage? If you're gonna mark these guys, you might as well do it now. Marking with the witch seems a bit excessive, but they've got no mighty blow, no block. Marking these guys with tackle seems like a pretty good idea. So yeah, that was kind of dumb. Surf Agility 5, no, why not just stand in exactly the wrong spot? So he can block him off from this there, no, 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 no. If I were him I'd try it with the Skinks. Sage. Last time I did that, because I've done that before, I could still surf because I used to use my uh, Super Witch. Oh, this is nice. Let's wrestle. Still got a potential Blitz here if you can get rid of this guy who does not have any skills. But, looks marked enough. Or you can make a 5 plus dodge with this guy. That could work. Yes, that one. So 5 plus 2 die, uh, power push is no good, but both down is good, because she's got wrestle and no block. Okay, he's gonna reroll that. Touchdown. Good. So I could try and surf the skink, but since I've got my mighty blow tackle on him, I'm gonna prioritize that for now. And just kill Aww. Tis but a scratch. Let's see what do we have here? This, this guy's nice to damage still. I'm not making dodges for this. But, I suppose a block on this guy really wouldn't hurt. He's got blodge though, so not great odds. Not rerolling that. Risking double skulls. One, one in 36 is uh, terrible enough. Ooh, that's uh, nice. Don't skip the hurt bus day. <clears throat> I'm glad it's not my wish. Yeah, introducing uh, more variety of racial uh, cheerleaders would definitely help. Gonna be right back.
This is my opponent's stadium. Mine is level 4, definitely. So he's done it again without guard. Uh, so I get to. Um, this guy does a guard, so I need an assist. Welcome, Griffin. Uh, this is the same logic. Although this time I don't want to score early, so that makes things a lot different actually. Uh, still got these three guarders here, which is really not worth taking on head on. Uh, but since I don't need to score early, I can really take this a lot more easily. And play it more safe, secure. Zombie cheerleaders, yeah. That's something to look forward to, definitely. Oh, illegal setup! Cheater! The bonus, the upgrades don't give any bonus uh, themselves. Uh, you can get a. Um, I suppose I should put one guy in the back a little. Like here or so. So the upgrades themselves don't do anything. If you get uh, one upgrade though, uh, you're allowed to get a, uh, an enhancement. And the enhancements can do a variety of things. Uh, mine gives plus one to injury rolls, which is... Oh, on the witch again. Right, so this corner becomes uh, crucial to defend. Uh, so let's start off with that. Sidestep fend guy here seems good. Uh, everyone expects them to come at some point. This guy's not blitzing because she is. This guy does not have guards, so I can just go here for the surf. Uh, this is a block. Fine. Not following that up, not interested in that at the moment. Uh, with his agility 5 still intact and stuff, I really don't want to uh, try the pickup. Uh, I really don't want to fail the pickup. And I have a go after this. So I suppose I fail. Am I better off here? No, nope, I'm better off there. So just don't roll snake eyes. Good. Which should get safer than she is now. She's too important to stand there and get blitzed. Here seems alright. But well, no injuries, but at least he's out for now. Uh, makes me a lot safer everywhere else. And I can just wander back here. And I suppose dodging Prehensile Tail isn't that bad when you've got nothing to lose. And it's still 8 out of 9 success chance. Here we go. Fine turn, really. It's a uh, plus one injury rolls only on failed go for it. It everyone thinks they do uh, um, plus one on all injury rolls, but it's really only injury rolls when you uh, fall flat on your face. <clears throat> the main strength of dark elves is um, the ability to play a very solid passive defense. What I mean by that is not uh, getting the um, not getting the ball, but uh, rather preventing your opponent from scoring. 
uh, playing this column defense where you have two guys here and then two guys there 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 and the opponent just can't get through and they blitz one of your guys they all back up one square and rinse and repeat so uh, Wood Elves for instance are really a team that can win uh, say 3-0 uh, or 4-0 and Dark Elves are a team that typically wins 1-0. As in, you don't you score turn 8, your opponent fails to score turn 8. That's that's Dark Elves' main strength. Now when you have a super blitzer a super witch like this, it becomes less okay, so she's just putting diving tackle on the ball. Well, it's not a terrible idea. Although sidestep might help. Got some tackle zones. I could probably get a surf there, although two guarders do make that. Oh, I've got two assists too. No, I can surf this. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> so if this becomes hard to manage, I could just. No! Bagel's the shit! I just hired you! But I'm not about to use an Apo on a rookie lineman anyway. Hmm. So if this becomes very hard to manage, I could just uh, hand off. He's apologizing for hitting my player. Here we go. Start off with a tackle block. Follow that. Sure. Where's my diving tacklers at? Come on! Where my sidestep is even? This guy's got diving tackle. Ah. I suppose blitzing him makes more sense, right? Yes. Pro that shit. Nope. No pro. You get the hell out of here. Do I want to follow that? Not particularly new. Cool, I'm happy you like it. Mm, let's see... Suppose I fill this dodge, which isn't much worse off there. Or there, really. And getting her to safety is pretty damn important. Good. Secure there, secure there. Now I could put him, plug this hole, but I could also get an extra block out of there, which might actually be preferable. When in doubt, hit the strength, uh, the agility four guy. Stay here. Oh, that's such a pity. Right, so this would be a good time to occupy this square. Welcome, Carlson. So since I've got guard here, I might as well make this one guy. Yep, wrestle's fine. Because now it frees this guy up to go here on a 3 plus with reroll. 8 out of 9, yes it's good. So we got the surf in and we're still solid and while the ball was here where I didn't want to go I've now consolidated there. So this doesn't look like a very good couple of turns, right? Um, but what it, what's basically happened is the ball went here and I wanted to go there and now I'm secure where, I, where I'm at. Hello Immaculate! Yeah, so unfortunately, the uh, uh, I, I had a lot more GIFs downloaded already, uh, which is when I found out that the um, uh, 
Twitch Alerts has a limit of 30 MB for uh, hosting images, <coughs> so that's a bit of a pity. Otherwise, it would have probably gotten custom sounds in as well, uh, which I still might at some point. So, if you want to see um, other images, uh, you just have to donate because that's a whole nother set. Nice how I snuck that in there, huh? That's fine, although he does get the chain push. Let's see what he comes up with. Eh, could be worse. I prefer this over the croc standing here. So it's getting very, very cozy down here. Um, but I've got this super witch, Agility 5, who can get the ball and. That looks like spam. I'm sure I have some mods around, don't I? Guard on this guy? No, guard, okay. That's a shame. That is a shame, yes. So much sidestep. Or so much diving tackle, I mean. Oh no! Okay, this does make things a bit more interesting. Double skulls. Uh, so handoff becomes tricky. I'm just gonna stand up what I can. I'm gonna hand off now. Good. I think I like this spot. Yeah. And of course I need a friend there. Still haven't blitzed, but honestly, that's really not priority. I can blitz this guy though. Agility 4. I've got my mighty blow tackle right here. Dodge skill, that's fine. Pro, yes, pro is good. Dodge this. Oh, I so want piling on on this guy. Let's see, agility three, agility four. Tackle is probably better off there. This guy's going to make his dodge anyway. Does he have guard? No. So this is two die. Got blood though. Oh, I've got strength four here still. Let's make that block. I've got tackle. That's a pity. So this girl can still dodge out and go like here or something. Make it a bit harder for him to uh, trouble these guys. Easier for me to advance with. Yeah, this looks good. If you have tackle, it means you roll. Yes, that's true. Except for both down and skull. So actually, no, that's not true at all. So basically, you're saying you don't roll power pushes anymore as soon as you have tackle. Well, that's not true. I just used the uh, dodge this one when I use tackle effectively. So to um, whoever went over to Knur and Knur, 
and told them it was worthwhile uh, hosting me. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, and to Kanor as well, of course. Um, this obviously does a lot for my stream. Really appreciate having the having you guys around, and also having so many of you stick around uh, for what for me is late into the night. Um, so I consider myself primarily a uh, an expertise streamer and only in in secondary uh, ways a an entertainment streamer, I guess. Okay, this is good. No pow. Where do I want to be? Here looks good. So, Leffe, don't forget, uh, Blood Bowl is a game that is really complex. Uh, it's, it really has a learning curve that is surprisingly long. So, don't say you're not fit for the game just because you haven't got it down yet. Uh, if you want to start off with a team, I would go with... Uh, thanks, Squirrel Dude. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I'd like to think I can be funny, but, you know, uh, I'm primarily uh, here because I know how to play Blood Bowl, I think. Welcome, Sparky. Oh, I love this Homer animation. Yes. Let's see, um, especially combined with the join the fold part, uh, okay, this is pretty doable, uh, just have to make sure it's a stall also, I think this guy will 3 die here, and then blitz and receive a pass. Oh, I thought for a moment that the comment you have to uh, revise your attitude was aimed at me. So I was like, oh, uh, what am I doing wrong? But fortunately you were talking about skating. That's fine. Just a flesh wound. So, strength 4 blodge on the ball should be good. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is good. It's a nice spot to be in. After she's made that, uh, yeah, that could have worked, but I prefer having the, uh, there was a problem with planning your turn for a head, I think. Yes, yeah, so far so good. This should be a 2 plus pass here. 6 and 2, yes. It helps to really know the... Uh, uh, passing tables off the back of your mind. Um, good question, Drace. So, the sounds that I'm using, uh, I trigger them myself. I've got a, uh, a program called Sound Plant, um, which basically maps a bunch of sounds to my keyboard. Um, so, depending on what I uh, roll, what I uh, click, different sounds come up. Hmm, I think this one die is probably pretty opportune right now. Push is fine, because what this does is it lets me uh, stick this guy with sidestep somewhere else. Although, I guess here is probably good. Um, so, Sound Plant is a really, really nice uh, program. Um, it, it basically lets you do this when you leap, or uh, this when someone isn't acting. There we go, just on the buzzer. I didn't really care about moving these guys, so I wasn't too bothered by it. Um, orcs and Dark Elves are great teams to start with. So with strength 4 blodge on the ball, I should be safe for another couple of turns. 
Uh, he, he can make a 2 die on this witch. She's got sidestep though. So unless this is a pow, uh, she's not going down. She can mark this guy. Oh, he's re-rolling for the pow. Sorry, just have to play it again. I should really set that up in a good loop though. Um, actually, if you're interested in, in how I've done this and mapped my keys, uh, there's a picture of my key mapping for the sounds on uh, Facebook. My page is underneath here. There's a link. Uh, he's the one blocking, so I'm marking this guy. Oh, he was not the one blocking. They should really visualize that, like make the acting player yellow or something. Not that it matters really, because this guy's not going to be relevant either. This looks like a pretty secure stall from where I'm sitting. You know, elves everywhere, except <laughs> next to his players. Blitz, sidestep, dodge. Can't touch this. <laughs> Good luck with that. So obviously he realizes I'm going for a stall, and he's trying desperately to stop me. Uh, but he's running out of skinks, and his skinks are the diving tackle. He's only got two of them. Uh, both would diving tackle, though. Hey, Jimmy. Still here, huh? To be honest, I think if I didn't have a couple of hundred people watching, I probably would have been uh, asleep by now as well. But uh, I'll stick in here. I think I'll even do the Lizardman game that I talked about after this. If you guys stick around, that is. Let's see... Uh, I could just surf this guy. No matter what else I do, that's a good idea. And getting this guy here also seems really, really good. No tackle at this team value is silly. It is, it is inexcusable is the word that comes to mind. So this guy is just going to go here. No reason not to. I don't really care for making this surf a... Uh, a 3 die. I'm just going to make it like this. And it's good. And the follow up. Yeah. This is Sparta! Here we go. So now that she's done her job, she can get as safe as she can because she's very important and I've basically already won this game. So I don't need her now. I'm going to want to get that runner safe soon. Good. Hold that up. Let's make the dodge with dodge kill ones first though. Here's fine. I've still got two rerolls, so I can make this one as well. Fine. Two dice here. A push. I can live with that. And now the runner will make his... Let's see how good Prehensile Tail really is. Dodge here. And that's fine too. Good turn. So he's still got one skink with agility 4. So I'm not exactly safe. But I'm pretty feeling pretty safe at this moment. <clears throat> XCOM is a great game. Well, that's not true, Jimmy. You can fail at Civilization. And I know you play Civilization, because you've streamed it.
I cheated like crazy on XCOM. I just kept saving and loading and it was terrible. So then I did Iron Man and it suddenly became a lot more fun again. So let's see how many turns have I got? Three. So I've got two turns of stalling to do. That should be doable. And maybe I can still remove this skink. Fair enough, Jimmy. Fair enough. So, um, I'm hoping that's just Twitch uh, screwing up and not my stream itself. Let's see, I've got no surf. I'm just going to go here to cure this up a bit. Yeah, I played Commodore 64 as a kid as well. Can I get a 3 dive? Got guard here. So sure, I can get a 3 dive. Why not? Here we go. Does he have guard? Oh. He does not have guard, so I can just go from this square. Three dice, a pow. I can live with a pow. Bam! Just a flesh wound. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, what, which with a half die that I can make into a two die if I want? Is this guy a problem? Not yet. Let's make it so the uh, half die will be... Are we talking about making a uh, an ideal one-turner? Yeah, that's worth a reroll, I'd say. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, that's not good. And another... Let's see if Prehensile Tail works. Nope. Good turn. Uh, people have answered that a couple of them had suffered from it as well. So, um, as I said, I'm a, I'd like to consider myself a fumble expert, but I'm pretty new to this whole Twitch thing. So, what others have told me is that Twitch will just get slow down at, at times and that this is not necessarily uh, happening on my end uh, if someone thinks they that it is something happening in my end in OBS or whatever I will gladly fix it um, no, no damage to system Tis but a scratch So I need to sit out this turn, at least. Which should be easy enough. Although I don't want to use my last reroll for it. Let's see, he can get a tackle zone on him. He could blitz, he could blitz. Dodge uh, skill first. Does he have guard? He does not. So this is a one die already. Oh! So then the question is, do I need to... 
reroll this. Sure. If I go into the end zone in his turn via sidestep, um, then uh, I still score on my turn 8. So my turn is skipped, yes. Well, rolling ones is fine as long as you're uh, winning. So I guess in theory he could, you know, roll a couple of fives and sixes and be a bother. But no, no, we're good. Uh, thank you, uh, Tio Dalen. Not quite as musical, though. Uh, I could talk long and about this. If I was was ahead by two to one, I would just make a block or a blitz somewhere. Although. He's out of skinks. I'm just gonna score. I love that Final Fantasy VII fanfare. It just makes me feel so victorious, you know? Yes, yes. People are missing. Yes, we don't care. One turn touchdown is a real option with these guys. He's got no movement, but plenty of... So I don't expect him to make it, but... Uh... I would feel remiss if I didn't act on it non all the nonetheless. So let's see here. Didn't I have a setup for this, by the way? No, that's not it. Uh, no, you roll the injury uh, that when you bash. This is the same. No, that's not good at all. Damn it. Okay, back to one and... Speedy, come on. Speedy. Uh, so, size the diving tackle. Oh, no diving tackle. That's pretty. Uh, he needs to get three pushes. Uh, which is not impossible. Um, get some tackler in this back row here. Let's not put the super witch on. Uh, so suppose he blitzes in here, or he blocks him off, moves there, blitzes in here. I could go one back, make it even harder to fill everything out. And then he still has to dodge through there. Yes, let's go with that. This diving tackle guy is doing pretty well by himself. And these guys. So it's funny. I'm pretty good at scoring one turn touchdowns, but I suck at defending against one turn touchdowns, which you think is silly because it's the same thought process basically. I don't expect my enemy to know how to one turn touchdown, no. But I would feel really bad if he suddenly looked it up online and. <laughs> Fair enough, Jimmy, yes. Yeah. Considering how he's coached this team, um, I had some pretty hard work. That's an interesting question, Nightshade. Uh, true, setup versus Riot would be the smart thing to do. You're right, Jimmy. 
as a matter of fact, you're always right, Jimmy. <laughs> Kick him! Yeah, let's just go here. worth up on if it's permanent. Yes. Yes. Miss next game. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah. Dark Elves are... Um, they rely less on a few key roles and uh, are much more consistent. And with, uh, uh, add to that the Witch Elves who are great uh, surfers, they're, they're superb. What's your first YouTube video? <laughs> Me saying Jimmy's always right. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, common fumble knowledge, really. Although, to be fair, he also usually agrees with me. He had a reroll, right? Tips on Skaven. Uh, don't get a, a rat ogre. Um, get claw on doubles on storm vermin. Make sure you develop your gutter runners for specific roles. You will want a gutter runner with wrestle, strip ball, leap, dauntless, maybe horns, maybe very long legs, something like that. So a real sacker. You will want a ball carrier, block, dodge, sure hands. Maybe big hand, uh, two heads. Um, you will want a one turner plus movement, sprint, sure feet, maybe catch, sidestep, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and then you've got one who's usually uh, recently killed and trying to get in one of the other roles. Um, that would be the basics. Uh, line rats that skill. Uh, get one kick, get a couple of dirty player, in my opinion. Um, if you can afford to, get a big bench. Playing with 13 or 14 guys is great. Playing with 11 Skaven is a good way to lose without any players left. Um, Claw Poem is good. A Diving Tackle skink. Uh, uh, um, gutter Runner, yes. Um, gutter Runners with only normal skills get Block, Sidestep, Diving Tackle is fine. Uh, if those Gutters roll normals, you might be tempted by Prehensile Tail, because it's a plus one to dodge difficulty. Personally, I would just get Guard. Guard is great on a Gutter Runner. It's often overlooked because it's not a mutation. I agree with Jimmy, again, obviously. 13 rats is good. If you if you decide to take a Dirty Player or two, 14 rats is also fine. 